hello guys welcome back today we are going to learn a very unique concept in javascript and it is occasionally asked in interview also when you are you are facing a javascript interview then interviewer always ask such kind of uh, questions for testing you that whether you have a advanced knowledge of javascript or not so the concept is polyfill what is polyfill we will understand here in this video and uh, we will <coughs> make a practical example of polyfill first of all i want to explain you that what is polyfill you know that javascript uh, run on different type of browsers like it run on chrome mozilla ie opera there are so many browsers that support javascript but in all uh, browsers uh, all functionality of javascript is not supported for example in some browser for each method is not supported some browser you can say that uh, <coughs> map is not supported some browser filter is not supported so maybe anything any part of javascript is not supported in any particular browser that is a normal thing but whenever we develop a website in javascript we always want that our website should run in all the browsers so in javascript we can test and we can test that if uh, some reason uh, some functionality is if uh, is required in your website and is not supported in a some specific browser then you can create the dummy of that particular function by yourself i give you example here you will understand that suppose there is a array in this array <coughs> we have some value i put some value in this array for example this is array and we know that uh, uh, in array we have a one function is called for each that is supported in es6 version of javascript or later on so the uh, the purpose of this uh, function is to display the element one by one just like we use in for loop so what i do i just pass here uh, the arrow function and here in this arrow function i put console dot log and i pass here x like this this x i can say value also i can say value and here i can change to value if i run this program you will see that it one by one all the value will be display you see one by one all the value is displaying here is a replacement of for loop but how it's working how it's working it working that we have to pass a function because it's a higher order function for each is a higher order function and inside this we have to pass a callback function like this and this function will have this parameter if i say it have this parameter and this parameter is the value of first element of this array it will display here then second element then display here so one by one this value will come here in this function and we can do anything whatever we want with this array so that is the purpose of this for each but maybe by some reason suppose uh, mozilla do not support this for each function but we are using for each in our uh, website but mozilla is not supporting maybe the opera is not supporting so now what is the solution so javascript provide you a so solution that called a polyfill for example suppose i make a setting here that array dot pot type dot for each equal to null that null means remember that that null means this browser do not support the for each function so i did here null that means this particular for each function is not supported by any browser so such kind of error you will have on that time in your website that for each 
is not a function why because uh, chrome is supporting but mozilla is not supporting in other browser is not supporting so this function is not as a library function as a default function in javascript because i just do here null that means manually i disable this function internally in javascript so now it is not supported in my application because i did the null so this function is not working so now what to do so we can create the for each function over self like this i can create for each function like this that i say function i say uh, here i disable it and i say array dot type dot for each equal to function remember i am creating this function here so i create a function here so i am passing my function for for each okay now i just disable this and i show you that it is my function that what i am uh, creating for that i am just showing you here that i just create here for loop and i say where i equal to 0 i less than i less than what the number of element which is there so we say this dot length this is the current array and i plus plus like this so i am doing the my own coding and i show you that it will display my value as i am saying I say that value okay and i say here plus i then plus this way equal to and i here type this and i you see it will display the same result as this is displaying but now it will display what it will display this value equal to value 1 0 equal to this value 1 equal to this and you see that i have modified the nature of this this is function i do this enable first of all then i try to run you see so i disable this as a default and i replace this function with my own function which i am creating here and you see this result is changed so if the browser is not supporting if any browser is not supporting then i can create the same for each for those so i can make condition here if if i say if i can put here that if this particular is equal to equal to null we can we can check also in condition if it is null then do this thing if it is null then create my function this one you see i just cut it and i say this one so if it is null remember that i am checking here so i am not disabling so it will it would not use value you see it is not using value why because i am checking and my this this my compiler support for each function but if browser is not supported how we will check we will check here like this if i disable this here if i disable here like this that means browser is not supporting and i run it you see i say it is null and if it is null then my function will run so i save it and run it still is supporting my so what i have to if it is equal to equal to null then create my function and i am using 
the same one so it is not changing why it is not changing I have to create it separately like this I save it now it's supporting my function so it is not supporting inside this why I save it if it is equal to equal to null I had I did the null also but I think it is not uh, true because uh, browser support it that's why because it's checking in browser that browser is supporting or not and my compiler is support like this that's why it's not going on this condition because it's going on else condition you see if I put here console.log and I say hello so it will display hello because you see because this condition is not true for my compiler that's why it's not going in this condition that's why it's coming so no need to put this condition right now here but in browser you can check if browser is not supported then automatically this function will run in place of this but still i disable this one and manually i disable and then i replace this with this function so in place of the default for each function it will run my value one thing is that second thing if i want to create a new function that all uh, uh, other programmer uh, uh, on that particular website also use for example that in uh, in javascript we do not have a, any binary function so what i can do so uh, i say array dot or type dot to binary so this function is not there in javascript so i am creating this function and if somebody used to binary so it will convert the value into binary you see <coughs> I'm creating this so what I'm doing so if anybody used to binary then it will convert the value into binary so how I will do I just make a for loop and again I do one by one zero I less than this dot length then I plus plus so I run it now I convert this to uh, console.log and here I pass uh, this this to a string and here I pass 2 remember that it will convert all the value one by one into binary so how I will check just I run it here and I say data dot to binary you see the function is coming here automatically and if I pass here uh, same this one this value if I pass here then it will convert automatically all the value so I disable uh, uh, this one because I want to check the new binary function and uh, <coughs> so it is uh, not converting right now why I just see okay I have to pass here I like this now I run it once again you see so one by one uh, it converting the value into the binary and you see the binary of 12 you see 12 the binary of 34 the binary of 56 then 87 so 11 so all the binary value is converting here by this function so like this we can create uh, uh, any particular function which we want to create for javascript as a javascript library function by using polyfill and we can replace the function that is already defined in javascript and if i required suppose i required this one this type of logic then i can change the by default function of javascript also if some other browser is not supporting the same function but you are you are using in your website and that is more important for you also so you can make a replacement of that function if some browser is not supporting that functionality by default uh, then you can create your own function on coding because you are a developer you are a coder so javascript have a very good very good facility of this and this facility we called polyfill so 
that's all in this video and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video if really you uh, like this uh, video you have learned anything from this video uh, kindly do subscribe my channel share my video like my video promote my channel and uh, thank you for watching this video